Today was a heartbreakingly sad day in Paducah, Kentucky, as thousands of mourners gathered for a joint funeral of the three young girls gunned down Monday during a school prayer meeting. And as the victims were buried, police said they had questioned Michael Carniel twice last night, and the 14-year-old insisted he had acted alone when he fatally shot the three students and wounded five others. Meanwhile, there's some new information on Carniel tonight, and it might lead to insights into his state of mind before the rampage. Reporter John Wesley Brett of WLEX-TV in Lexington, Kentucky, has been checking out the teenagers' activities on the Internet. In its relatively short life, the Internet has become a major place where we get the latest news and where we express ourselves. Michael Carniel was a surfer. At an inline skating enthusiast page, he wrote that he enjoys skateboarding, even broke his arm once, and describes his favorite equipment. And he signed his name with the email address loco at rocketmail.com. But we found that Michael had a sort of split personality and a second identity on the web that had been secret until now. His other identity, the prophet. This indicates it's in his head. I mean, this young man, in my opinion, had thought about that for quite some time. That's, this isn't a random act of just getting out of bed on the wrong side. And if he was looking for attention, he has gotten it. Since the shooting, lots of people have jumped online to express themselves. One in a news group says Michael is his hero. I hope they let him off, he writes. He's done the world a service getting rid of those primitive, illogical, stupid Christians. Just yesterday, someone in California created a cryptic page honoring Michael, complete with a picture of the type of gun used in the shooting and a single word commentary. Amen. The prophet's hope of an audience has apparently come true. He may have decided, uh, I'll show these guys how big I am. I'll show these guys, I mean, I can be bigger than they. What speaks louder than a gun pointed at their head? John Wesley Brett for CNBC, Lexington, Kentucky. Mm. Turning now to the unforgotten. 